Mount St. Helens, a stratovolcano located in Washington State, is known for its catastrophic eruption in 1980 that resulted in widespread devastation. Over the years, the volcano has remained active, with periodic eruptions and seismic activity. Recently, there have been indications that magma beneath Mount St. Helens is recharging, raising concerns about the potential for a violent eruption in the near future. Through the analysis of geological and seismological data, scientists have identified signs of magma movement and increased volcanic activity, indicating the need for continued monitoring and preparedness measures to face an impending eruption. If Mount St. Helens were to erupt, the consequences for the nearby communities will be devastating, and the event would alter the landscape for good. Join us today as we explore the imminent eruption of Mount St. Helens, investigating its recent geological activity, potential risks, and mitigation efforts. Don't forget to click on that subscribe button and like this video as it's the best way to support this channel. Mount St. Helens, which sits on the Pacific Ring of Fire, was formed through a series of tectonic activities in the Cascades Range, a region known for its volcanic history. As a stratovolcano, Mount St. Helens is characterized by its steep slopes and explosive eruptions caused by the buildup of viscous magma in its chamber. The volcano's formation can be attributed to the subduction of the Juan de Fuca plate beneath the North American plate, leading to the creation of magma chambers that eventually fueled its explosive eruptions. Therefore, Mount St. Helens holds global significance as a natural laboratory for studying volcanic behavior and its impact on the environment. The catastrophic eruption of Mount St. Helens in 1980 has been instrumental in advancing scientific knowledge and research in the field of volcanology. The eruption was triggered by a series of earthquakes and steam explosions, leading to the collapse of the volcano's north flank. Mount St. Helens exploded to life on May 18, 1980, erupting in violent fashion, spewing towering clouds carrying 520 million tons of ash that choked the skies with grit and darkness, and claiming the lives of 57 people in what remains the largest volcanic eruption in American history. The landscape was forever altered, with forests flattened, rivers dammed, and new geological features formed, highlighting the destructive power of volcanic activity. Following the devastating eruption of Mount St. Helens in 1980, the surrounding area has undergone a remarkable process of ecological recovery and renewal. Over the years, plant and animal life have gradually returned to the region, showcasing nature's resilience in the face of adversity. Ongoing research and monitoring efforts continue to track the area's ecological progress and provide valuable insights into ecosystem dynamics post-eruption. Recent geological and seismological data provide valuable insights into the current status of Mount St. Helens. Seismic activity around the volcano has been monitored closely, with an increase in earthquakes indicating potential magma movement beneath the surface. Ground deformation studies have also shown subtle changes in the shape of the volcano, suggesting pressure buildup within the magma chamber. According to the U.S. Geological Survey, the volcano has experienced around 350 earthquakes since the beginning of February, with 38 alone in the first week of June. Most of these earthquakes were not noticeable, but one registered a 2.0 magnitude on May 31st, strong enough that it could have been felt by humans. Over 95% of the earthquakes have been less than magnitude 1.0 and are too small to be felt at the surface. Although earthquakes under Mount St. Helens are not uncommon, the recent seismic activity is the largest short-term increase in earthquakes since the volcano last erupted in 2008. However, there have been other periods of similar seismic activity that did not lead to eruptions. So more earthquakes does not necessarily mean an eruption is near, but we could easily be wrong this time. Small earthquakes beneath Mount St. Helens are generally thought by scientists to be part of a recharge process, where magma builds up beneath the volcano. The process of magma recharging beneath Mount St. Helens is a complex phenomenon that plays a crucial role in volcanic activity. 
Magma recharging occurs when molten rock from deeper within the Earth rises and accumulates beneath the volcano's surface. This influx of fresh magma can increase pressure within the magma chamber, leading to potential volcanic eruptions. Several factors influence the rate of magma recharging and the likelihood of an eruption. These factors include the composition and temperature of the magma, the presence of gas bubbles, and the structural characteristics of the volcano. Changes in these variables can impact the stability of the magma chamber and trigger volcanic unrest. Past eruptions at Mount St. Helens have been linked to magma recharging events. This phenomenon is closely monitored by scientists using various techniques such as seismometers, gas sensors, and satellite imagery to track changes in volcanic activity. The implications of magma recharging at Mount St. Helens are significant for public safety. Understanding the signs of recharging can help authorities make informed decisions regarding evacuation plans and emergency preparedness measures. By closely monitoring volcanic recharging, scientists can provide early warnings to mitigate the risks associated with a potential eruption, ultimately safeguarding lives and property in the surrounding areas. The potential for a violent eruption at Mount St. Helens poses significant risks to nearby communities and infrastructure. An eruption could result in ashfall, pyroclastic flows and volcanic gases, impacting a wide area surrounding the volcano. The destruction of homes, roads, and utilities, as well as disruptions to transportation and communication networks, are among the potential consequences of a major eruption. To mitigate these risks, authorities have developed evacuation plans and emergency response strategies tailored to volcanic events. These plans outline designated evacuation routes, emergency shelters, and communication protocols to ensure a coordinated and timely response in the event of heightened volcanic activity. Public awareness campaigns and educational initiatives play a crucial role in preparing communities for volcanic risk. By educating residents about the potential hazards, warning signs, and evacuation procedures, individuals can take proactive measures to safeguard themselves and their families during volcanic emergencies. Overall, a combination of preparedness measures, effective communication, and community engagement is essential for mitigating the impacts of a potential violent eruption at Mount St. Helens. The United States Geological Survey and the Pacific Northwest Seismic Network play a crucial role in monitoring Mount St. Helens. Through a network of monitoring stations and advanced technology, these organizations provide real-time data and updates to help inform emergency response plans and ensure public safety in the event of heightened volcanic activity. According to these organizations, high rates of seismic activity, interpreted as recharge, have been observed in the past at Mount St. Helens and at other volcanoes and can continue for many years without an eruption. As of today, no significant changes have been observed in other monitoring parameters and there is no change in alert levels at this time. Mount St. Helens remains at normal background levels of activity. But predicting volcanic eruptions presents significant challenges due to the complex nature of volcanic systems and the uncertainties involved. Factors such as the behavior of magma, the presence of seismic activity, and gas emissions can all influence the timing and intensity of an eruption. Despite these challenges, scientists utilize a variety of scientific methods to monitor volcanic activity, including seismology, gas measurements, ground deformation studies, and thermal imaging. By analyzing data from these monitoring techniques, researchers can better understand the dynamics of Mount St. Helens and make informed predictions about the likelihood of a violent eruption. While uncertainties remain, ongoing research and monitoring efforts play a crucial role in enhancing our understanding of volcanic activity and improving eruption forecasting capabilities. The recharging magma beneath Mount St. Helens presents a significant concern regarding the potential for a violent eruption. Through the analysis of geological and seismological data, scientists have identified signs of magma movement and increased volcanic activity, indicating the need for continued monitoring and preparedness measures. Even though scientists have not raised the alarm yet, 
it is wiser to be well informed and prepared due to the unpredictable nature of this volcano. Do you think Mount St. Helens will erupt anytime soon? Leave a reply in the comments section. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.